I'm back with another video and today I thought I would give you a tour of my tack room video so this video I've been wanting to film for a long time one thing I wanted to say is this is not all my tack I have a tack room at my dad's house as well as my mom's house and yes I'm a college student so I do still live with my parents but um, this is the tack room that I have at my mom's house and I can also do a video on the tack room that I have at my dad's house the tack here is the tack I use on Paisley and Dollar and um, just tack that I use on a more regular basis than the tack that I use in my dad's house because the tack in my dad's house is just for um, Chugga and Allie which are my two horses that I've had forever and I don't really do any new training with them or anything but this tack room tour is most of my tack and my tack room is fairly new here. Um, for a while I was just using my garage but I take a lot of my a lot of pride in my tack room it is not finished but I just thought I would make a fun video of a tack room tour video this is my tack room it is currently it's not finished yet as you can see we don't have any paint on the wood right here or um, any like paint on the door or anything but it's still a work in progress so just keep that in mind we walk in and right away, I keep my feed stuff right here so that I can just have quick access to it for like in the morning. Hi, Dollar. <laughs> um, and Paisley's food is right here. She just gets um, the Purina Equine Junior, and I mix in a little bit of oats with that. And then Dollar's food is right here, and he just gets um, just your basic 14% protein uh, pellets. And I also mix some... Um, oats with that as well and these are just tools that I use to help me feed multiple horses at the same time okay so then we come right here and this is my little bulletin board I guess you could say I have my work schedule here um, like what I do with my horses Chugga is not on here because I don't really do much with her she's a pony she <laughs> doesn't really need much work but I actually need to change this because on Friday, Dollar goes to his new home, which is very exciting. I'm very happy for him. And then, well, this right here, just for the sake of uh, privacy, uh, I just have my phone number on this piece of paper and then my veterinarian's phone number. And then I have this cute little um, paper that has like design on it. And then these are spurs that were passed down to me from my great aunt, I believe. Um, they're really cute. I don't really, I don't use them. I've never used them. They're oh, and I also have two really cute little windows right there to see out and see my ponies. Hi, Paisley. Then we come past the bulletin board. I have my little trash can right there, and then I have a lasso rope thing. Whoops. <laughs> it's I sometimes use it just for fun. It's for like little kids, but it's mainly just decoration. It looks really cute. So over here I just have my head stalls and uh, bridles and whatnot. These are just basic head stalls right here. Um, this is a halter from when I used to do showmanship with my horse Allie. Um, I don't do that anymore but I still have this. It was our practice halter and I think it's really cute for like pictures and stuff. And then this is Paisley's halter. It's also Chugga's halter, but Paisley doesn't fit into her yearling halter yet because she's only five months old. And then this is just a miscellaneous halter that I have for Dollar and Allie and everything. And then this is a really cute halter that I got from my local Wheeler's store. I think it's by Professional's Choice. It's really cute and I use it for pictures. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've definitely seen this halter a lot. And then right here I have just Dollar's halter that I use on him. Well, moving on from the bridles and halters, I have these chairs here, and this is also my camera bag, so that's not usually there. But these chairs are here just for like my mom and my grandparents when they like to come out and watch me work with horses and whatnot. And then over here I have a notebook that I just like jot down, jot down ideas in sometimes, and 
just random stuff. And then I have my sunglasses, which I wear all the time whenever I work horses. And I have my um, whiteboard erase <laughs> cleaning stuff and a eraser. And then down here I have uh, just miscellaneous halters and lead ropes and things like that. And so over here, it's kind of a mess, as you can see. Um, it's sort of organized and sort of not. I'll just start down here. Um, this is like my wash stuff, like when I wash um, my horses. I just have like sponges and little things like this that make uh, make it easier to move soap around. And that's my, it's just like a mop bucket, but I just use it as a wash bucket. And then my camera tripod is right there. And then uh, this little area is just like miscellaneous stuff. I think there's like wrapping paper there. I'm not exactly sure. I just, I don't really use that bottom part. And then right here in between everything, I have like uh, tarps and a plastic bag and some other training aids um, that I use for desensitizing, desensitizing, desensitizing horses with. <laughs> And then on the second row, we have polo wraps, um, boots, sport boots. I have more of these at my dad's house, so not everything is here. I also have more polo wraps at my dad's house. Anyways, that's where I keep all my um, leg gear and stuff. And then over here, I have like vet uh, supplies, like um, wraps, vet wrap, and then uh, gauze right here, and then this is a warmer. It's not completely used. And then I have paper towel, um, gloves, Thermoflex, which is a lig ligament gel. And then we have Corona ointment, and I, this is just for cleaning. I don't use this on horses, but Clorox disinfecting wipes are right there. And then we have duct tape, and I use, um, sunscreen on horses, like Dollar. He has, um that little snip on his nose and sometimes it can get sunburned or like if you have a Cremello horse they can get sunburn around their eyes and nose and whatnot so I just use this for um, dollar. So moving up here we have my tack box which has just like random stuff your basic brushes and grooming tools and whatnot scissors always need scissors um, yeah that's pretty much it there's like old ribbons in here too from who knows when but um, yeah so that's that and then I have like my little rubber bands that I use for putting braids and horses manes and tails and then we have some hoof flex right here very dirty for um, hoof conditioner and we have some detangler and shine on all by mane and tail by the way mane and tail great brand I highly recommend it it's inexpensive and it works great so, right here we have fly spray, three bottles of fly spray, because always need fly spray. And then we have some copper tone <laughs> sunscreen. I wear sunscreen every day. And then all right here is like my um, washing equipment, or washing soaps and conditioners and whatnot. And then back here is like some wasp spray, because I frequently get wasps in here. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then right here I just have some leather conditioner. So, moving on from the third shelf. I guess this whole area is kind of like a little bit decorated. Um, I got these, well, I got this paper from one of my Lily Pollitt's, um, journal, or, sorry, agendas. Just like I got that one over there. And I just thought it was really cute and it looks really cute in that frame, so... I just added it in here, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and then uh, my boyfriend actually got me these at Michael's and I thought it would look really cute in here because of the wood, you know. So, and then right here I have my ProBios treats that I give my horses. And then I have zip ties in this little mason jar because um, I always need zip ties, like, all the time. And then we have some Stan Stanley Appleberry cookie cubes. I really like these because they're foraged base and they're low sugar, low starch, so they don't have anything weird in them. And then I have my old spurs right here. I really don't use these anymore. They're really cute. They're morally just for decoration. So that is, oh, and then up here, almost forgot, 
This is just where I have like my travel stuff. So like this is a hay bag and then this is a little nifty thing where you can store <laughs> horse feed like if you're going somewhere and it keeps it like airtight and air sealed and all that. So moving on from there, I have my like push broom and broom and my little hand rake right here that I used to hand rake my um, round pin which is right out here. Right there. And there's Puddin. Hi Puddin! So this is just my cleanup equipment right here and then I have my two saddle pad racks right here. This is just a um, show saddle pad that I used to use. My other saddle pads are at my dad's house. Um, and then this is just a saddle pad, like my go-to saddle pad that I use all the time. And then under it, I have my breast collar. It's just a really plain breast collar. I don't even know what brand it is, but it looks good with um, my saddle over there. So, and then this is just a very random table where I threw all the, the trash, pretty much. I'm kind of embarrassed about it, but um, when we get electricity out here, I will be using this table to... Uh, hold up a mini fridge that I have for the tack room to hold like water and carrots and whatnot And then I have my whips right here Over here. I have my two saddle racks. I have my other saddle at my dad's house, and I just sold my Western pleasure slash raining saddle so this is the only saddle I have current or the only saddle that's here right now I always keep it covered. It is a circle Y saddle, and it's actually a really nice saddle um I honestly love it. It's pr probably my favorite saddle. I usually keep it under this saddle cover that I got from, I think, Stateline Tack. And just to keep it nice in, in nice condition. And I have a briar horse right here. If you don't know what briar horses are, then you need to get with it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hold on, let me get in the light. Okay, this is the Roxy um, mold, and it's signed by Stacey Westfall. I got her to sign it at Briar Fest when I went in like, I think it was like 20, 2007, 2008. I don't exactly remember, but Stacy Westfall is like my idol. I love her. She is the pretty much the reason why I started riding my horse Alley Bridalist. So there's that. <laughs> and then right here I have a little box which I keep like feed in just to make sure or extra feed bags in just to make sure that um, mice or any vermins don't get into them. And now we're back at the door, so, and my horses think I'm gonna feed them. Okay, so that is the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, I am trying to make more videos. I am in college, so it's not very easy, but I am trying to make time to make more videos, so please stay tuned, and thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram. I post a ton on Instagram, like way more than I do here. So if you want to stay updated with me, follow me on Instagram. There's a lot of dogs on my bed. Sorry about that. Um, I'm one of those people who loves my dogs on my bed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.